Hey guys, in this video, we're just going to be taking a quick look at some simple skin tone combinations using the Touch New alcohol markers. I'm also going to try and talk over this and make it a bit of a, a mini review for the skin tone set. So there are 24 markers in the Touch New range that you can buy as a skin tone set. And I'm just putting my actual colour swatch for the skin tone on camera now. Apologies, I didn't realise how bright the lighting was. And although I haven't marked it on here, it also includes a zero colourless blender. And I'll just quickly show my original colour swatch on camera. Again, it's a little bit bright, sorry. But this is just a reminder that I do have a full video review on the 168 set Touch New markers, which I go into a lot more detail in. So whilst I've got this swatch up on camera, one thing I want to mention is that some of these colours are very similar to one another, almost like duplicates, and some of the lids on the pens don't match the colours exactly. So I'm going to show two different skin tone combinations here, a lighter skin tone and a darker skin tone, and I'm going to try and keep it as simple as I can. So I'm starting off using a 26 and a 29. I think the 27 is the pink that I use just on the cheeks. You could also use it on lips, but I tried to keep the drawing a little bit more basic. Obviously this is for the lighter skin tone. And all I'm doing is going in with the darker skin tone, 29, and filling in some of the shadows first. And whilst that's still wet, using the lighter skin tone to blend between the two. So after putting a little bit of shading around the sides of the face, I then go to the pink, 27, I place that down just below the eyes and then I go to my lighter skin tone and I blend between the two. It's a very similar colour so it's quite easy to do and you will see that I go over some of these with the same colour to layer it up and make it a little bit darker. I refer to this skin tone as being quite a subtle one because it doesn't have a huge contrast or go overly dark but it does seem to work really well. And it took me quite a lot of playing around off camera to find skin tone combinations that I thought worked quite well. And that's why I wanted to make this video to see if I could help other people out. And before I forget, I'm using Bristol board here, which is good for blending markers on. And although this is a video focusing on skin tones, I will try and mention which colours I use for the eyes and hair, just for anyone who's got the full set. So for example, on this one I use number 66, 70 and 185 for the eyes. For an orange hair colour I went with 23, 24 and 35. The idea being I've got a mid tone, a lighter tone and a darker tone for shadows. I do keep the hair really basic because to be honest I'm not that good at colouring hair, especially when it comes to markers and I did want the main focus of this video to be skin tone. So I do keep the eyes and the hair quite basic in colours as you will see. And to finish it off, I just put a little bit of white shine around the hair and in the eyes. And I just use, I think it's called a white jelly roll pen. So moving on to the darker skin tones now, I used 21, 107, and I think 139 was the pink. So this time, again, I'm going in starting with my darker colour, my darker skin tone, and I'm blending that with a lighter skin tone. But this time, when it comes to putting pink down on the cheeks, I'm again laying in the darker shadows around the edges and then drawing the pink down and then I'm going in with the lighter skin tone of the two and whilst I am fading it from the dark skin tone I am going fully over the pink I'm not leaving it to be its base colour by going over it it just seems to let a little bit of pink show through but it looks a little bit more natural and like it actually matches the darker skin tone this way I'm sure there's probably other ways of doing this but I found this way to be easiest and whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to quickly talk about price. So if you have the full set of 168 markers, it works out roughly 42 pence each. This is from Amazon at the time of making this video at least. So 24 of them for the skin tone would be just over £10 in those specific markers. But obviously you would have to buy the full set for that. However, you can buy the skin tone set on its own. And I believe that is £19.99, which works out at 84 pence per marker which is a lot cheaper when you compare it to something like a Copic marker which works out usually over £5 per marker. I really do like these markers although with the lighter of the two dark skin tones you can see the way it layered left my illustration very well not a very smooth transition where it had layered over itself and darkened it. This is quite good in some respects because it means you could get different tones just using the same marker but you can see in the centre just above the eyes where my ink had already set 
So when I went next to it again, it basically created another layer on top of it. Hopefully that makes sense what I mean. And it's a shame because I really like the way this one was looking. I think this is my favourite of the two actually. For the eyes on this one I used 2, 6 and 87. I really like this combination. And for the hair I used 1, 2 and 87. Although you can see a little bit of what I mean regarding the layering again. This could all just be that I'm not very good with markers just yet though. And from my experience you get this regardless of what brand you use. So overall I am a big fan of touch new markers. I think the skin tone set of 24 is a really nice range of tones. But it did take me a lot of trial and error to find ones that worked well together. Some just didn't seem to blend too well together. For example if it was a little bit too dark compared to a little bit too light. I think it would have been improved massively if there was more mid-tones to go between the two and make the blending a little bit easier. So it probably goes without saying that Copic probably have the edge here, because one thing you have to give Copic markers is that their skin tone range is fantastic, but again you're going to be looking at a premium price tag with it, and I think if you play around with some combinations, you could probably find something you enjoy with the Touch New markers. I will leave a number of the ones that I've used here in the description box below. Hopefully it will help you guys out and save you a little bit of time, although I would still encourage playing around yourself as well, as I'm sure there are other good combinations. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, let me know which one is your favourite out of the two. Or you could help me and others out by letting me know what skin tone combinations you use. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button below the video, and of course be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks so much for watching everyone.